the phenomenon Greta Thunberg has been occupying people for several months now. Soon, questions came up as to whether this story is too good to be true. Explanations were soon found in the family, which has a lot of prominence, including the incarnate inventor of the greenhouse effect, Svante Arrhenius. It did not take long, and crude conspiracy theories arose. It was soon said that Arrhenius was not just a distant relative, but her direct ancestor. Not enough, the ancestors of Arrhenius are supposed to be nobles. Also, there should exist a connection to the ultra-green politician Anna Horn A.F. Rantzine. Somehow I wondered what it was really about and so I started to search. I hope to shed some light on that and question some absurd theories. It is interesting that the parents of Greta are not unknown. The mother Malena Ernman is an opener and participated in the 2009 Eurovision Song Contest. The song performed, La Voya du Nord, led the charts in Sweden for 19 weeks. However, things looked different outside of Sweden, and at the contest she only took the disappointing 21st place. Her sire Svante Thunberg, whose name patron is supposed to be Arrhenius, is an actor by character. He seems more comfortable in the theatre than in television and film. In addition, he leads two companies, one of which takes care of the marketing of his wife, the second company Northern Grace is a music label. The only artist I could find in a short search is Malena Ernman. The business figures of Northern Grace are anything but positive. In addition, the two parents in 2018 have also published a book on the autism of their daughters. Incidentally, the Aspirager syndrome is probably the only thing I have in common with Greta. Although we look at Google Trends, the couple was mainly present in 2009, the year of Eurovision's appearance. There was a small peak in 2013, probably with I Decemberted. Otherwise, they are not exactly the most wanted celebrities, this changed only with the school strikes of their daughter. It does not seem to me justified therefore that they are supposed to exploit their status. They are portrayed outside of Sweden as more famous than they actually are. Nevertheless, it must be made clear that Greta does not come from a humble background, as was often claimed. Greta's grandparents, Olaf Thunberg and Mona Anderson, are busy actors. However, they occupy secondary character rather than leading roles. Now we come to the next generation, which according to some Greta haters Svante Arrhenius should bring in as their great-grandfather. These are questionable claims that lack any reason. And I do not want to go to a greasy level. Luckily I have found more credible information about the origin of Olaf Thunberg. His parents were Fritz Thunberg and Elsa Matson. Fritz Thunberg is also run as Ericsson, according to the old Swedish tradition. It is now strange in the previous generation, because the father of Fritz Thunberg was Carl Ericsson and was married to Augusta Thunberg. Interestingly, the name of the wife was later added to the family name. At that time probably more and more families in Sweden began to turn away from the old tradition, according to which the name of the father became the family name, in the case of a son supplemented by son, in the case of a daughter by daughter. So this family received the name passed on since then. The parents of Augusta Thunberg were Johan Thunberg and Maria Sven's daughter. Johan had two siblings, and they all seemed to be the first generation named Thunberg. But it is even more confusing, promised. With the seventh generation, the name Thunberg disappears, the parents of the Thunberg siblings were Nils Pedersen and Katharina Petter's daughter. And lo and behold, this Katharina Petter's daughter had a brother, who in turn was called Johan Thunberg. Finally, with the eighth generation we find them, the last common ancestors of Greta Thunberg and Svante Arrhenius. These are Petter Ha Hansen and Katharina Hawkins daughter. And it is also clear that the relationship with Arrhenius by Johan Thunberg the elders was realized. Johan Thunberg was married to Brita Pedersen. Her daughter Carolina Thunberg married Svante Gustav Arrhenius and became the mother of Svante August Arrhenius, the famous chemist and Nobel laureate. Arrhenius was married twice and had at least four children. Some of them, in turn, became scientists, including Olaf Arrhenius. His daughter married the Swedish line of the old Knights of Horn from Ranzen, 
hence Anna Horn AF Rantzine. She is best known as a fundamentalist green politician. It is also interesting in connection with Arrhenius that his parents were cousin and cousin. Gustav, the grandfather of Arrhenius, was the brother of Breda Pedersen, who married Johann Thunberg. The siblings' children, Svante Gustav Arrhenius and Caroline Thunberg, married and became the parents of Svante Arrhenius. The claim that the ancestors are noble, seems to be dragged here by the hair. The two families can be located on a small region in Smallland. On the map I show the residence of the ancestors of both families. Interestingly, there is a place called Arena in the Arrhenius area, and a place called Tuna in the Thunberg area. Coincidence or an indication of the name origin? Finally, I take the liberty of examining the lineage of Greta's mother. This time we go deep into the past, more specifically in the Viking Age and even beyond. And what are we finding here? The who's who of the ancient Scandinavian world, Jarls, Kings, Myth Kings, and finally even Gods. Even two berserkers are among them. Who knows, maybe in the veins of Greta yes really veritable berserker blood. Probably the world of their ancestors looked about as follows. Finally, I want to make it clear that this is all about genealogy. My interest reduces in finding the truth, while politics is the field of lies. Therefore, I also hope that my video is not abused for such or other political purposes. Thanks for watching, stay froggy.